Hello and welcome to our video on bacterial surface appendages. Bacterial surface appendages are structures that extend from the surface of bacterial cells and have various functions such as attachment, motility and exchange of genetic material. So let's see one by one. So first, flagella. It occurs both in gram positive and negative bacteria. Flagella of spirochetes reside within the periplasmic space called periplasmic flagella. Gram negative bacteria has four rings L, P, M, S and C. Gram positive bacteria has two rings S and N ring. C ring consists of F like G, M and N. C ring is also called as switch complex as it can switch the direction of flagella motor. And next, number and distribution of flagella. In low four trichus, tuft of flagella present at one pole. Example, pseudomonas fluorescence. In monotrichus, single flagellum occur at one pole. Example, pseudomonas aeruginosa. In peritrichus, flagella present all over its cell. Example, salmonella typhi. In amphitrichus, flagella occurs at both the pole. Example, aquaspiral serpents. And next, Difference between pili and fimbrae. So coming to pili, it is present in gram-negative bacteria and it is required for the bacterial conjugation. About 1 to 10 per cell and it is a long filamentous structure. And fimbrae, it present in both gram-negative and gram-positive bacteria. It is used for the cell attachment to surface up to several hundreds per cell. It is a short filamentous structure. And next, endospores. Bacillus and Clostridia forms heat resistant, dehydrated structure capable of surviving long periods in an unfavorable condition. So these structures are resistant to heat, UV radiation, gamma radiation, and disinfectants and desiccation. So it contains lipicolic acid complexed with calcium ions. Most commonly used endospore stain is schaffer felton's endospore stain. So this endospores consist of exosporium, spore coat and cortex. So first exosporium, it is the thin delicate protein covering and spore coat, it is beneath the exosporium composed of several protein layers. Annexed cortex, it present beneath the spore coat made up of peptidoglycan. And next, difference between gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. So cell wall, in gram-negative bacteria, it is 2 to 7 nanometer thick. In gram-positive bacteria, 20 to 80 nanometer thick. In tachoic acid, gram-negative bacteria, it is absent. It is present in gram-positive bacteria. And periplasmic space, in gram-negative bacteria, it is prominent. In gram-positive bacteria, negligible. Outer membrane is present in gram-negative bacteria and absent in gram-positive bacteria. And motility, in gram-negative bacteria, it is motile or non-motile. In gram-positive bacteria, mostly non-motile. Appendages, in gram-negative bacteria, usually bears pili fimbrae. In gram-positive bacteria, it usually lacks appendages. And flagella structure, in gram-negative bacteria, four rings in basal body. In gram-positive bacteria, two rings in basal body. And toxin produced in gram-negative bacteria, endotoxins and exotoxins. And when coming to gram-positive bacteria, only exotoxins is produced. In endospores, in gram-negative bacteria cannot form endospores. When coming to gram-positive bacteria, some genera form endospores and gram reaction. It stains red in gram-negative bacteria and stains violet in gram-positive bacteria. And next, capsule glycocalyx, viscous substance forming a covering layer or envelope around the cell wall called capsule. If it is visible under light microscope using special staining, it is called capsule. So thin and not able to see under light microscope, it is called microcapsules. Many cells are embedded in a common matrix called slime. 
and next functions of capsule it provide protection against temporary drying block the attachment of bacteriophages important role in biofilm application promote the attachment of bacteria example streptococcus mutans adheres the smooth surface of the teeth and cause dental caries provides virulence to the bacteria example streptococcus pneumonia cause diseases only if it is capsulated and next other appendages or structures outside the cell wall so first sheath it form chains or trichomes enclosed by hollow tube example spirotillus annexed prostheca it is a semi rigid extension of cell wall and cell membrane it is to increase the surface area of cell for nutrient absorption example colobacter and stalk it is the non living ribbon or tubular appendages excreted by bacterial cell example gallionella it is aided for the attachment of bacteria to the surface so if you have any doubt please ask on to the comment section for more videos please subscribe our channel thank you